Hi guys, this is Kudo, and today in this video I will show you how you can play a sound at a specific time. So let's get started. So first thing first, you will need to create a C sharp script. So let's create it. So and let's call it audio uh, script. All right, and open it in Visual Studio. So after I open the the script, uh, we need to create a variable. So let's serialize it. So serialize field. And I need an audio source for sure, audio source, and let's call it audio source. And um, and what I need to do, I need to go back to Unity and create an empty game object. So let's create an empty game object, reset it, and add our script so let's call it uh, my audio for example oh yeah my audio all right and let's add the component uh, audio script all right as you can see uh, when i drag and drop our script i need an audio source so what i need to do let's create another uh, empty game object and add that game object i need to add an audio source so let's add the component audio sources all right and um, you need to to have a, an audio on your on your asset so i got some audio right now so jazzy frenchy or an ost from from uh, an anime so i will i will drag and drop my ost so dra take your audio whatever you want so even a music or anything and drag it uh, drag and drop it on the audio source on the audio clip and right now you got some 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 featuring right now but we don't need that just make sure play on awake is unchecked because we don't want to when i when we press play on the on the unity we don't want the song to to start it so let's rename it uh, maybe uh, main theme right now all right and let's head back to my game object myojo and as you can see audio source is empty so we'll drag and drop my main theme to the audio source and if i hit play right now nothing will happen because i unchecked uh, play on awake okay so everything is set up in the unity scene so let's head back to visual studio and uh, what i want to do is to create uh, function so let's void so um, I don't need the start function so let's call it void and um, uh, let's call it void sorry let's call it uh, play uh, my uh, sound at begin all right and what we want to do is just say audio source dot play And this will play my song. Um, this will play my song. So let's call this function on my update function. So let's say if uh, input dot uh, get key down dot get key down of key code maybe uh, space. Again, um, this is a simple uh, a simple code, a simple way to, to use it. So um, I recommend to, to use um, a, a brackets videos about the manage uh, audio source. I will put a link in, in the description or maybe here. Uh, but um, regarding to, to this code, it's just a simple code to 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 play a song at, uh, at a certain time. So you can customize it and do whatever you want, but just uh, keep in mind this is a simple a simple way to 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 code it so right now i will uh, i will call call my function and what my my function does is just uh, play uh, my audio source so lo let's head back to unity and um, as soon as we i will press play and right now nothing happened because i didn't hit, uh, hit space so as soon as i hit space you will hear the sound of um, of um, of my music so right now you can hear it all right so um, all right so now we just create a function to play our audio source and what we want to do is just uh, to 
to I want to play my song at a specific time. So let's create another function. So void void uh, play uh, play sound uh, specific time, and let's put in parameter float time I want time wanted time wanted. All right. And first thing we need to check is if time wanted, sorry, time wanted, sorry, it's a D at the end, it's not a T, sorry. If time wanted is upper than the, my audio source dot clip dot length, so we do, oops, sorry, we want to return. So basically, what I'm what I'm saying here is if uh, the user uh, put a time want um, greater than my audio, uh, my audio source clip length, we can't play it. So what is the audio, uh, audio source clip length? Let's head back to Unity. And each time you will click on the audio source, you can see here, you got uh, you got the uh, you got your audio here. So um, the audio clip length will be the size, I mean the um, the time in second of your audio. So right now it's say one minute 40 44 second. F for my OST it's two minute 43 second and 291 uh, millisecond. So basically it's represent two minutes. It's around uh, it's uh, 120 second and 43 it's 40 seconds. So basically my clip length of of my OST will be 163 seconds. So let's head back now to Visual Studio. And um, as you can see uh, right now, what we want to do is, uh, so we return uh, any time, um, the, the time wanted is upper than the, my Odysseus clip length. So um, what I want to do is else, so else, if the time wanted is not up, is not greater than the audio source clip, what I want to do is just audio source clip. So audio source, uh, sorry, audio source dot time will be equal to time wanted. And what I want to do is audio source dot play. So, for example, so right now, each time I will, I will, I will put a parameter like maybe time wanted. Uh, lower than my clip length, I can play my uh, audio source as the time I want. So let me show you an example. So uh, let's say if uh, input dot uh, get uh, key down, so dot get key down of key code A, for example. I want to play sound on a specific time, and the specific time maybe. Remember, my OS my OST time is about 163 seconds, something like that. So maybe I want to play my song around maybe 88 dot uh, 832 dot uh, F. So right now. What I'm saying here, my, uh, the time wanted, I want to play my my OST at the time of 88 seconds. So basically, uh, this is my OST right now, and I want, sorry, I will lower the, the sound. I want to my OST to get play around 88. So 88 is around one minute and uh, and 28 seconds. So Right now, I want to my song to play around this time. So let's try it. Let's hit play. So remember, if I press space, I start my song right now. And as soon as press A, as you can hear, my song is playing at the time I want. Again, if I hit, hit space again, if I hit, uh, hit A again, he will again play my song at the time I want. But what if I press space right now and hear the song? So right now, as you can hear, my song, my song is playing 
not at the beginning, but at the same time um, as I as I plan here. So what I need to do on my play my sound at begin, I need to specify so audio source dot time uh, need to be equal to zero dot zero f. To be sure, each time I want to play my sound at the beginning. I need to I need to put Ojosus time to zero to make sure it starts at the a beginning of my sound. So let's head back to Unity and let's test it again. And as soon as press play a uh, space, my sound is starting to play. And if I press A, it's starting to to play around the middle. I, um, I, I will press space again and it started again. So that's it guys. So hope you enjoyed the video. Um, subscribe if you want. You can like if you can comment if you want it. Um, and uh, I catch you guys next time. Bye bye.